Well, could AI be the key to solving the world's medical mysteries? U.S. Air Force veteran Megan Gordon has been battling a mystery illness for over a decade, stumping doctors and the Veterans Affairs Department with its complex symptoms. Both her mother and her grandmother suffered from the same illness until her husband input her symptoms into an AI platform designed for the healthcare industry. That U.S. built tool, Doctronic, was able to pinpoint Megan's diagnosis in just minutes, discovering that she suffers from a rare genetic condition called dyscarotosis congenita, or it's bone marrow failure, basically, and I probably pronounce that horribly. My apologies. I want to bring in at a Fox Biz exclusive is U.S. Air Force vet Megan Gordon and Doctronic co-founder Matt Pavel. It's so great to have you uh, both here. And Megan, obviously, uh, thank you first so much for your service. And it must have been such a relief after so long to find out exactly what was wrong with you. Oh, my gosh. I can't tell you enough what type of relief it was. I almost fell out of my bed as I was doing research because I've had the best doctors, the best institutions coast to coast, and it's actually plagued me my entire life. And nobody's been able to figure it out. And Mayo and NIH to the genetic testing, which was key. And, but Doctronics put it all together. My husband gave me the app and we took off with it. And sure enough, it, it did its job. And it's a disease that um, doctors and I overlooked two and a half years ago. Wow. So have you been able to receive the correct treatment since you got your diagnosis? Unfortunately, no. As anybody with chronic illness knows, they just want a diagnosis. But not only did mm -hmm. Doctronics give me that, it said, by the way, would you like to know where to get treatment and the name of the doctor that does it? I mean, it, it told me everything. And it's Dr. Sharon Savage at NIH, and it's an experimental bone marrow transplant. So it's not your typical bone marrow transplant. They actually use a virus to change my DNA forever and fix that, you know, partial gene mutation that I had that's causing the bone marrow failure uh -huh. and all the problems that go with it. So, so, so that, that's, you. that's where you've got it. You're still trying to get that, that treatment covered. You, you, you need that treatment. It'll save your life. Absolutely. It will save my life and it will halt the progression of the disease and change and reverse up to 60% of the damage that's been done to my organs. Wow. So cool. I'm begging Donald Trump, President Trump, if you hear me, help me fight to live so I can live to fight and help you with all your AI medical initiatives. And let's change American medicine because Doctronics is the future. Yeah. Well, and Matt Pavel, you are here with us, of course. This is your company, and, and certainly I'm sure stories like Megan are one of the reasons that you decided to, to create the platform. You know, doctors get burned out. Doctors are human. This doesn't replace a doctor, but your app is a tool that doctors and consumers like Megan's husband can use. Explain that. Yeah, that's exactly right. So. You know, the way the system is built is for a consumer to come and talk to the AI, and the AI will ask all of the questions that a doctor would normally ask because it's been trained by doctors, top doctors from top hospitals in the country. And it's, you know, very patient. You can use it as much as you want. It's totally free. The AI is anonymous free and totally private by default, right? Um, and at the end of the conversation, it's going to explain what's going on to you in a way that you can understand, but also package all that information up in a doctor's note so that you can take it to your doctor in order to get the treatment you need. And it makes the doctor's job that much more efficient because it's doing all of that data gathering and all of that processing using AI. So it's not just consumers like Megan that are using it, it's doctors. Doctors use it, absolutely. And doctors use it with their patients, right? We are working with patients to help patients and doctors you know, work better together because there's a, a shortage of doctors, right? There's an average of four weeks to see a primary care physician in this country. The whole system is overburdened and there's massive doctor burnout and we're solving that. Well, and you know, obviously there's a lot of benefits for these doctors to use AI tools. Um, on the other side, uh, from the journal Lancet, they had done this study in Poland that once doctors got used to using AI during colonoscopies, when they didn't use AI, their detection of, of cancer actually fell by 20%. Yeah. So, 
Yeah, There's so, a little bit of a flip side there. I wanted to yeah, ask. so so we, our AI does not say to a doctor, this is what's going on. Our AI helps gather all of that data. And by default, it's going to give like four potential outcomes, right? Four potential uh, treatment plans. And it's going to explain that to the doctor so the doctor can do what doctors do best and actually treat. So we're not building a system where doctors are reliant on AI. We're building a system where doctors can use AI and it just helps them. And it gets rid of the things that they don't like to do mm -hmm. that cause doctor burnout, right? It reduces their note taking. It reduces just the, the raw questions. It helps them spend real, reasonable, meaningful time treating patients. Right. You know, Megan, it's so interesting because most people have been told by their doctors, I don't know if you've had, don't go to Dr. Google. Don't, don't Google your symptoms. I'm sure you and your husband Googled your symptoms for, for oh, years did. and then you end up, technology is what, what gave you the answer. It's if you Google medical stuff right now, it's like using the card catalog when you were in the second grade. And that's how antiquated Google is for medical technology now. Mm -hmm. We need to wake up, America. We really do. And we all missed it. My doctors and I, we all missed the diagnosis when NIH suggested with the gene results that said I had this condition, which is dyskeratosis congenita heterogeneous. Mm. Dismissed it because Google just gave us such a, a small glimpse, and there's another type of, of D, DKC, and it, and I don't have that, and it was very clear that I didn't have that. But that's all that Google brought up. Yeah. So, and it's different in the sense that when you talk to your doctor, usually people feel like it's a top-down experience. But working with Doctronics, you go in there and you're empowered, you're educated. You are invested in now your personal care, and you don't walk away saying, "Oh, my doctor gave me, you know, the diabetes diagnosis, humdrum," and you know, it makes patients take ownership over their condition, their recovery, their health care. It condenses appointments from two to ten. It streamlines a diagnosis. Sometimes it can take years, down to one. I mean, 48 years. I'm 48. I've been sick my entire life and we could not figure it out in one night working with doctronics it spit it out and said you missed it and i i, I emailed the chief of rheumatology at university hospital and i said oh my god we did miss it wow and Me here's the report megan i i'm praying for you that you get the treatment that you need you've got a lot of very powerful people that are behind you that want to get this covered by nih matt pavel obviously thank you so much for both of you to joining me today and, and telling your story thank you for being brave enough megan to tell your story we really Thanks, appreciate Megan. it i'll do it any day of the week to help all the sick people out there i'm begging you if you're listening and you're ill and you're taking care of somebody who is not well this is for you everybody should have a doctronics account um, Megan Gordon, Matt Pavel, thank you so much to both of you.